Okay, so what is up Marines? Today it's the demo build guide. So what I'm doing on my demo is basically rocking the Kramer Assault Rifle or the EVI 87 Zivis, the Plasma Rifle or the Pulse Rifle, the OG Classic Pulse Rifle. Those are the three rifles I'm using. Except if it's a synth mission, I'm going to be using the Twilight. So starting with the Twilight, it's going to be tanker muzzle brake, magnetic casing, digital scope. For the Zvesta, it's going to be flash hider, flywheel chamber, laser sight. For the Kramer assault, it's going to be ported compensator, casket magazine, and hybrid sight. For the heavy, I am either using the smart gun or the heavy pulse rifle. I am not a big fan of the explosive heavy weapons because it's, you know, risk to reward ratio. I think it's more risky. It just takes one wrong click to ruin your hard earned and, you know, ruins all the effort that you just put in. Wastes all the effort. So I'm using the heavy <coughs> pulse rifle and the smart gun and you will still do a lot of damage trust me people said the smart gun is the weakest of all the heavy weapons but you're not supposed to be rocking the smart gun since the beginning of the mission you're gonna use your rifle your normal rifle like the Kramer or, or the pulse rifle however when things get serious you're gonna shoot or you're gonna hit the enemy or the Xenos or the sense with your rockets generate all the stacks or get all the stacks of um, what's it called uh, clear the room and then you're gonna switch to your heavy to do increased damage so you'll have better damage to ammo ratio all right so the build for the smart gun is tanker muzzle brake hybrid rifling and deep railed armature uh, build for the heavy pulse rifle is ported compensator hybrid rifling and deep railed armature so let's get into the build first one micro rockets you're gonna be doing loud and clear so you're gonna get um, basically 20% more damage of this ability as well as um, it generates X additional stacks for clear the room which is much better basically you'll be using your micro rockets to one shot runners or clear trash or clear the room of all the trash the normal runners trust me putting in um, also called quick uh, um, <laughs> help me out on this one please force multipliers yes putting in a bunch of force multipliers is not gonna do anything but cost you your precious perk grid slots because keep in mind or think of it in this way that your micro rockets are just there to clear the room of all the runners or trash and focus on the bigger threats no matter even if you put a lot of force multipliers here waste a lot of perk grid slots you're not ever gonna one shot um prowlers or bursters or any specials or it's not gonna even like, it's not gonna do any significant damage to elites as well so that's why just loud and clear batteries included quick charge too because anything after this is diminishing returns spending three four slots on quick charges and everything will just bring you about two seconds of cooldown more or three seconds at the most which is i think not worth it so lastly brace for launch this is really good sometimes i found myself before like getting this perk that whenever you're desperate you just got the the rockets off of cooldown that one second too late and you're about to hit them with the rockets and you get stumbled or something and your rocket animation gets cancelled it's very crucial sometimes it's you know life it's a lifesaver so it's not bad and also you get 40 percent reduced damage that's really good that's something i want to have on the demo because um you know you're usually the front line so for a clear the room i just have quick and dirty whenever the stacks fall off you get one cooldown second shaved off that's more than enough for me for just two slots it's okay blast wave i go with rapid deployment for the cooldown bigger and better for the radius because it's got a very it's got a small ass radius by its own or on its own so assault battery so each target you hit 
brings the cooldown anywhere between you know reduces the cooldown anywhere between 10 to 50 percent dazed and confused again you can read you guys already know what it does so basically this is what i'm rocking but this is the bread and butter demolisher heavy training the lancer heavy training is not good demolisher heavy training with demolisher heavy mastery lancer heavy expertise and lancer heavy mastery everything is about fire rate look at this it's really fast and it's good enough for me uh, smart gun is basically a laser it's beautiful this work this uh, build works like marvelous it's, it's really good second build will be a support demo build um, it's only for CC like if you're doing a specific challenge card like um, beautiful butterflies explosions or coming out of, a, of out of the damn walls or anything or whatever your purpose is if you need CC this is gonna serve you well so weapons is up to you you're gonna be using concussive rockets loud and clear rapid deployment um, down and out because now you've got a lot of CC concussive rockets knock them down blast wave knocks them down so down and out will give you 20% more damage you know to you know you'll deal 20% more damage to knock down or stunt enemies so for the blast wave it's gonna be bigger and better assault and battery batteries included for the cooldown clear the room just a bunch of cooldown here again um, with quick and dirty for the weapons it's the same unfortunately we still don't have a lot of options for the demo for the heavy weapon builds um, so demolisher heavy training demolisher heavy mastery and lancer heavy expertise lancer heavy mastery here you're also getting stumble chance by 15 percent and the range is even improved so like i said it's a cc build so that would be it for the demo if you want to see these builds in action just hop on and try and browse through my channel you'll find a bunch of videos and you can see how these builds are doing they are doing great and i am sure you guys are gonna love it all right boys that will be it thank you so much for the watch and your time if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel to support my channel and i would really appreciate it you guys have a good day we'll see you guys next time Cheers. Bye-bye.